Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Gustavus Sports Rewind. I'm your host, James Piper. We've got seven different teams to cover, including our first looks at Nordic skiing and gymnastics. And we'll be starting the show off with women's basketball. A late rally wasn't enough for the Blazers of St. Benedict. Molly Geske of Gustavus drained her first four shots in helping the Gusties jump out to a quick lead of 10 to nothing. The Gusties' first half lead got as high as 20 points, and they finished the half with an 18-point lead. St. Ben's came out firing in the second half, though, cutting their 18-point deficit to a mere 4 points. Bree Radke preserved the Gus Davis lead with two clutch three-pointers with four minutes to go. The Gusties fended off a final surge and ended with a 66-63 victory over St. Benedict. The men's basketball team wasn't quite so fortunate against Carlton. They trailed by nine early, but tied it up with five minutes remaining in the first half. The Knights went on a huge 10-0 run, and by halftime, Gustavus trailed by five points. The second half was more of the same, with Gustavus attempting to play catch-up for the remainder of the game to no avail. Seth Anderson and Phil Wurches were the leading Gustavus scorers in the losing effort. The final score was Gustavus 55, Carlton 60. Now we'll take a look at women's hockey, gymnastics, and men's and women's Nordic skiing. Three first period goals propelled the Gustavus women's hockey team to a win over St. Benedict's last Saturday. Alyssa Galrup struck first for Gustavus with a rebound goal five minutes into the contest. The next two goals came from the stick of freshman Lindsay Helm and were less than one minute apart from one another. With ten minutes remaining, Alyssa Saunders scored Gustavus' fourth goal as Gustavus breezed by St. Ben's. The final score was 4-0 with Galrup's goal being the game winner and Danielle Justice getting the shutout win. First year gymnast Danielle Thibodeau had a monster day last Thursday in a losing effort against Winona State. Thibodeau won the overall taking first in the uneven bars, balance beam, and floor routine and took second on vault. Other top performers for Gustavus were Kelly Mathewson and Samantha Upsall. The final score of the very close duel was Winona State 175.2 to Gustavus's 170.625. The men's and women's Nordic ski team competed at Central Super Tour races. The women's team was hurt by the absence of Aaron Epler, who was unable to race due to sickness. The Women's team took 7th place on the weekend after tallying 6 points. Erica Hett was the top Gustavus skier, finishing 27th. The men had a stronger showing with Jens Brabbit leading the way taking 5th in the 10k and 6th in the 15k. The rest of the team had a slower showing and Gustavus as a team finished 5th overall. The men's hockey team got to play on the biggest hockey stage in Minnesota last week as they visited the XL Energy Center for a game against St. John's. Getting down to business, the Gusties jumped out to an early 2-0 lead on goals by Brad Wick and David Martinson, just 20 seconds apart from one another in the first period. The floodgates opened in the second period when the Gusties scored four goals coming from Dane Erickson, another from Martinson, and two goals from Ross Ring Jarvie. St. John showed up late to the party and scored four goals in the final 23 minutes, but Gustavus held on for the 6-4 win at the XL Energy Center. Thanks again for joining us today on The Rewind. It, as always, if you've missed any of our prior episodes, you can find them online by typing in Gustavus Sports Rewind into the search bar. Be sure to join us next week as I'll have an exclusive interview with head swimming coach John Carlson. Until next time, go Gusties.